Hello, welcome back to Brand Shish Love Noding. This episode, I want to share the breakdown of this uh, 3D glitchy text effects uh, made using geometry nodes in Blender 4.1. So, this looks uh, pretty complicated, but it's actually super easy to create. So, we have a bunch of objects in 3D, uh, just Suzanne, a couple of Suzanne. Each of Suzanne actually can be randomized further, and we can play around with this density. Um, just it's, it's gonna give a totally different look and we can see how it's got repeated and then each of the repetitions kind of slightly slightly fractured differently um, so we have two text objects glitch and this blend we can duplicate this and let's say just change the typography or the text itself so you can quickly make changes and it's gonna create the glitchy effects so let's take a look at one the effect is itself is re, uh, really simple the one that's really doing the hard job is geometry proximity and um, split to instance okay these two nodes does everything basically uh, just it's it looks complicated because there are many other nodes but let's take a look at this first geometry proximity and set position goes into the final result so the first effect is very important I think this is the coolest part of the setup so we have geometry geometry coming in uh, we turn it into volume we can control the density of the volume and then the voxel amount what we really want is basically distribute points inside the volume so there's a points inside the volume of the 3d mesh and then we we sample that point positions using geometry proximity set to points and then pass that points into set positions offset and the original geometry also subdivide it x number of times and then yeah just set it up you can try plug this into position it's gonna give different result but in this case I'm using offset so we can we can change the density and it's gonna give different result different type of glitch I think you can also use sample index and sample nearest but I'm still not 100% with this so I just leave it so the next thing I did just to make it more glitchy so instead of instead of just a single mess I actually quite like this already you can see you can make all different shape shape of Suzanne and we in this case the, yeah I still have control over the density which is pretty handy make the density lower so it's, it's more crazy like that um, so with this guy with the text to make it further chaotic and fracture we can take advantage of split to instance and uh, Voronoi Voronoi texture multiply by a number we can also yeah let's see is pipe it there we can turn off realize instances so it's a bit faster So Foronoi basically Foronoi multiplied by big number pass into the group ID will separate the mass into instances, points or face, whatever you like. It's gonna give different glitch result. And the the scale of the Voronoi also will affect the final look. So it's gonna totally looks destroyed like that and whether you choose face or points or edges give it a try you can also use noise texture or whatever other noise that you can think of so it's basically fracturing fracturing our 3d mesh further 
so it's become really glitchy and after you split to instance you use that instance and instance on points so it's randomly picking the fractured part separating our 3d mesh and you know we, and then you can repeat it multiple time this is just yeah to make it more random originally it's really just duplicating our 3d mesh but we scatter it right and then we we randomly pick instance so it looks totally messy yeah i think selecting points and just scatter it that way So we get this glitch effects. We also get the edges beside the face. But anyhow, that's basically our glitch, how we make uh, the glitch effects. Um, I'm pretty sure it can be improved, but uh, anyway, I apply also materials. And if I render this out, we get a different color for each face. If we go back, let's save this one and go back to the original one. Oh, actually, this is a different, okay, slightly different value. Let's check also the original. So, yes, yeah, it's glitchy and it's separating, fracturing each part and then just instance it in, in 3D space. This one can be scale, actually. So, the scale will use the points and then instance it so it could be like super random like that if we reduce it it's basically the same thing fractured differently and then just scattered i think yeah it's pretty simple it gives that type of effects and we can if you render it yeah random different color because of the material looking at looking at the instance random per islands randomize the hue plug into principles so yeah you can type in anything glitch So whenever you have an effect, if you don't know, you can you can turn it off. Yeah. Oh, this guy, the text already remesh as well. Before it turns into volume, I I remesh it. If I turn this off, we have just the text. But I I remesh it beforehand. Same thing with Suzanne. We can actually remesh it and then so it's become volume slightly differently so that's a quick and easy uh, glitch effects uh, using geometry nodes hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye